Hello and welcome to today's video and this video is about the Ticketer ticket machines and this is the ETMI version 7 that are used on in one of the bus companies in Leicester. There are a number of companies now that are using them in Leicester including Arriva, First Leicester, Centrebus and Kinch. Stagecoach that run into Leicester use a slightly different ticket machine and so do Roberts. Well anyway, we'll turn on the bus and we'll watch the machine load up. Now we are in a Sapphire bus so there will be some random noises other than the ticket machine as well. And this boot up sequence will take about two minutes. There's a number of Items come on the bottom. GPS is already working. The one next to it is the card reader, uh, bank card reader, and the printer. And the printer tester is now confirmed as okay. The time is all showing as as well. Now, if the if the um, printer paper gets low it turns orange and if the paper runs out it can t it'll turn red with an x on it letting you know to change the paper and the last one we're waiting for is the card reader which is coming on now So everything is now logged on and basically we're now waiting so I can actually sign in. Okay now this is the driver's login screen. And what you'll do is you'll put in your driver's number, which for me is one, two, three, four, five. And once you've done that, you press OK. And then it'll say, please scan the latest code for duty totals for other vehicles. If you have any, this will ensure your duty totals are correct at the end of the day. No, to always scan, even if scanned previously. Right, so basically what this is done on about is when you sign off a previous bus, you'll get a printer reading and you'll get this little code and basically you put it under the barcode reader and it reads it. And then next you have to put in your PIN number. So I'll put in my PIN number. One, two, three, four. And then you press OK again. Now it's come up uh, with a couple of messages which shown and then went off. And now I have to put in my running card. And my running card is 141. So you can scroll down or type it in. 141. Press accept. And the time would be... Um, 11.12 but it's actually 11.27 so we're going to put in this one and you go accept it's loading data and it's also asking for the number of passengers on your vehicle 
So if there was five passengers on your vehicle, you would add five. If there wasn't, if there was less than five, you could also alight them as well. And then you press continue. And this is for COVID-19. And currently the maximum capacity on this bus is 35. This is a double decker vehicle, which is capable of carrying 77 with 14 standing but at the moment we can only carry 35 so here we have the machines and the main screen you're looking at is currently uh, the single tickets and we've got multi two screens on here so we've got adult single adult return child single child return passes and pensioners and then on the next screen we have travel aid the bottom two stay on all the time then we have day tickets and the day ticket says an adult day ticket for Leicester which is currently 440 or Leicester share which is 570 child 350 for Leicester or the county 420 the passes as I said stay on all the time and then we have a family ticket which is currently seven pounds because it's a weekend or or school holidays and this changes on on a Monday morning this will be different and the family ticket will either be nine pounds for Leicester or twelve pounds if you're in the county we also have the flexi day which is four pound eighty any service in Leicester within the city boundary of the flexi zone and the child one is 420 and then that's it and then we have weeklies again Leicester zone on this side the county on the other we also have something called zone 2 which is if you're in the county and only staying in the county you can get a zone ticket and they are roughly the same price as the zone 1 tickets but they will not show because this bus is currently in zone one and not zone two and again we've got the flexes on the next screen as well passes is dead simple um, students scholars staff pass police again normal passes pensioners rail ticket guide dogs flexi days in case the tickets don't work and flexi week and plus bus for people who use trains and buses and M ticket which is in case anybody has got a faulty telephone if the app's not working so we could do it manually as well and then we have another screen concessions and this is if they've got a faulty bus pass disabled so we can enter a disabled pass and if they have a companion with them and if you issue a companion if you do one of each of them and press issue the machine will issue a companion ticket and we also have covid fares at the moment and these I'm not exactly sure what they're for actually because I've never actually used them but there they are and we have 50p £1, £1 £1.50 £2, £2.50 £3.50 £3.50 £4.50 £3 and no change okay and the last screen is help and that basically will issue um, a ticket so that people can go through the customer service or if someone's card's been declined well anyway we'll go back back to the standard one main screen um, as the bus drives into town this top one will change automatically as the bus runs around the route with the GPS and the one below um, this one can be changed to one where the people are alighting so if they're getting on at Howard Road and getting off at the Royal Oak it'll cost them £2.70 
and if they put a card on here this will turn gold and then it will go in as a card payment now I can actually do this but uh, I'm not going to because obviously my card will be shown in the video and then we also have an options screen and we can if you wanted to go to the bathroom you can lock the ticket machine so nobody else can use it at the end of the trip if it doesn't do it'll come up end trip or if it doesn't do it you can do it via here duty summary will let you know how much you've taken so far and the trip summary will tell you how much you've done on this trip and if you wanted to print it you could print it If you go to more, there is messages again, inspector's ticket, the inspector would use this, he'd press this button and then type in his number, com statement, um, status, basically lets you know there's no messages pending, none sent, none received. Log in an instant, if the vehicle is involved in an instant on the road, you can log the instant on this machine and it'll let them know exactly when it's happening so if you've got for instance two passengers uh, fighting on the bus or if there's an accident in front of you and the road is closed and you're stuck you can log the incident printer test is dead simple just does a printer test to let you know that the printer is okay ideal for first thing in the morning so you know the ticket machine is working before you leave the depot. Reboot, reboot set. We normally have to do this if one of these isn't working and normally when the machine comes on the second time, it works fine. And you can also contact Ticketer. Settings is basically the backlight and you can dim the screen in the evening and then brighten it up on a sunny day. Normally, however, when the bus is driving along, if I keep going back, uh, this screen will go completely black and it will only show how many people are on your bus, the time and which bus stop you're approaching. And when eventually you get into the, to the end of the service, as I said, you go options and you either end trip or if you're coming off, you just log off and when you log off it'll tell you how many ticket machines you've used and then give you a new queue code to use when you take on on the next service well anyway i hope you like this quick guide in the ticket and machines that are currently used on most buses in leicestershire and thanks again for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Goodbye.